Welcome to Meta Thesis Swag. Please note the last date for receipt of application for civil services examination is 22nd of February. Not that far. Today is 18th. You've got just four days. So if you haven't, please submit your applications. When's the exam? Sunday, 5th of June. Now here I got a request to solve one reading comprehension passage from the previous year and I always feel happy the request was on 5th or 11th of February so thank you for your patience. Here's the passage and that's the question. You may pause and read. Ecosystems provide people with a variety of goods and services, food, clean water, clean air, flood control, soil stabilization, pollination, climate regulation, spiritual fulfillment, that's a new word and a nice one, in this context, an aesthetic enjoyment to name just a few. So there are many benefits of ecosystems. Most of these benefits either are irreplaceable or the technology necessary to replace them is prohibitively expensive. Are we talking about natural ecosystems? Yes, we are. And hence, the author says, most of these benefits are either, either cannot be replaced or the technology important to replace them is very expensive, which means there is a possibility that it can be replaced with the help of technology. However, it may not be viable. It may not be practical. It may not be feasible. Why? Because of the cost as of now. For example, potable fresh water can be provided by desalinating seawater, but only at great cost. Read the next passage. Read the next paragraph. The rapidly expanding human population has greatly modified the Earth's ecosystems to meet their increased requirements. These modifications have contributed substantially to human well-being and economic development. The benefits have not been equally distributed. What does that mean? Some people have actually been harmed by these changes. Moreover, short-term increase in some ecosystems, ecosystem Goods and services have come at the cost of the long-term degradation of others. Short-term benefits vis-a-vis long-term effects. Now let's look at question number 19. With reference to the passage, consider the following statements. Number one, it's imperative, imperative. to modify the Earth's ecosystem for the well-being of mankind. Ask yourself, is it important to modify the Earth's ecosystems for the well-being of mankind? Question option number two, uh, technology can never replace all goods and services provided by ecosystems. We just discussed that there is a possibility. It can happen, but it is very expensive. So expensive that there should be a ban on the idea why we get that uh, inclination, why we get that uh, indication uh, from where prohibitively expensive. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? Is number one correct given the context of this passage? It's important to modify the Earth's e ecosystem or is the author suggesting otherwise? Most of these benefits either are irreplaceable, cannot be replaced, or it is so costly to replace them with the help of technology that there should be a prohibition because of the cost. So don't you feel that point number one gets removed? And point number two, which is technology can never replace. Is that true or false? Paragraph one, is that true or false? Why is it false? Because it's mentioned right here that the technology important to replace them is very expensive. So technology can replace but at a great cost. 
which of the statements given above is or are correct what would you choose both one and two or neither one nor two a lot of t- a lot of times what happens candidates uh, s- f- read uh, the lines really fast and also the question statement really fast and mistakenly or accidentally they choose both one and two when they want to choose neither one nor two which is the answer please keep that in mind please pay attention to it those who would want to read the hindi version of this passage gadyansh पारिस्थितिक तंत्र लोगों को विभिन्न प्रकार की वस्तुओं और सेवाओं को प्रदान करते हैं जैसे ये सब इन लाभों में से अधिकांश या तो अपूर्णीय है या उन्हें बदलने के लिए आवश्यक तकनीक महंगी है तो इससे हमें क्या पता चलता है कि ऑथर का ये शायद मानना है कि वो नहीं चाहते कि इनमें ज़्यादा कुछ परिवर्तन लाया जाए या इन्हें परिवर्तित किया जाए कैसे पता चलता है मोस्ट ऑफ दीज बेनिफिट्स इधर आर ए रिप्लेसेबल और द टेक्नोलॉजी नेसेसरी टू रिप्लेस दैम इज प्रोहिबिटिवली एक्सपेंसिव यहीं से हमें पैसेज का टोन मालूम पड़ जाता है नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ की इस क्वेश्चन के लिए हमें इतनी जरूरत नहीं पड़ी फिर भी आप पढ़ना चाहें तो पॉज एंड रीड एन को पढ़ना बहुत ही ज़रूरी है अगर आप बेसिक लेवल पे हैं या अभी शुरू कर रहे हैं पढ़ाई तो एन ज़रूर पूरी कीजिए और एन पढ़ने में बहुत ज़्यादा वक्त नहीं लगेगा आप लोगों को इको का मतलब क्या होता है पारितंत्र या पॉलिनेशन the process in which pollen is taken from one plant sequestration people in the context of people the committee called in the context of environment which is what we have to use most of the times pause and read in the context of law the act of taking temporary possession of someone's property a few more terms that are important to know on the top of the page you may see the website or anyway you have your book uh, with you that's very popular especially in old rajendranagar when you prepare for environment moderation of extreme events ecosystems and living organisms create buffers against natural disasters they reduce damage from floods storms tsunamis avalanches landslides and droughts wastewater treatment ecosystems such as wetlands filter effluents decompose waste through the biological activity of microorganisms and eliminate harmful pathogens वेटलैंड पे एक और पैसेज है जो आप सर्च कर सकते हैं ऑन दिस चैनल पॉलिनेशन बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ प्रेडिटर्स एंड पैरासाइट्स इन इकोसिस्टम्स दैट एक्ट टू कंट्रोल पॉपुलेशन ऑफ पोटेंशियल पेस्ट एंड डिसीज वैक्टर local climate air quality ecosystems influence the local climate and air quality for example trees provide shade while forests influence rainfall and water availability both locally and regionally trees or the other plants also play an important role in regulating air quality by removing pollutants from the atmosphere atmosphere carbon yeah. sequestration and storage ecosystems regulate the global climate by storing greenhouse gases for example as trees and plants grow they remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, atmosphere. and effectively lock it away in the reserves okay you can fast forward the parts you want to skip coming back to the passage this is what we discussed today and this uh, first question comes mostly from which paragraph first or second 
what did I tell you about uh, both one and two and neither one nor two keep that in mind what's the meaning of this word too special unusual or valuable irreplaceable no one's irreplaceable in the workplace huh? prohibitively prohibit prohibitively in a way that's too expensive or too much property in the area tends to be prohibitively expensive or prohibitively expensive hmm watch time from subscribers subscribed 51.2% not subscribed 48.8% <laughs> this is uh, the analysis that YouTube gave to me which means a lot of people are not aware that they can subscribe to the channel and it requested me to tell my uh, viewers or my Oops. students or participants of this channel to subscribe if they would want to so that they can get the complete information or updates as to when I upload the next video well yeah see the sex ratio here on the channel can you explain that to me good luck take care